Buongiorno. My name is Harris McDowell, State Senator from Delaware, where I have chaired the Energy and Transit Committee for 36 years. It's about energy that I wish to speak to you today. Many thanks to the Bologna Fair and to President Campagnoli for inviting me to the SAIE exhibit at the fair in October to tell you about a unique model we have designed in Delaware for achieving a sustainable future. The Delaware Sustainable Energy Utility is a public-private partnership designed to deliver sustainable energy solutions. It is a model that has proven to be both unique and successful. By achieving the first ever private bond issue paid by the non-use of energy, the state of Delaware has increased its annual investment in sustainable energy by 36 times, from $2 million to $72 million. And this is all private investment, not a cent of taxpayer monies, federal, state, or local. Its use is intended to foster low carbon development that is governed by the communities it serves. The SEU does not support only one type or market segment, but rather works with business, government, agencies, and residential customers to save money, energy, and reduce carbon emissions. The SEU positions itself as a one-stop destination for managing, engineering, organizing, and financing sustainable energy projects. It is able to achieve the goals of President Obama's Better Buildings Initiative to make commercial and industrial buildings more energy efficient and to accelerate private sector investment in energy efficiency. I am honored to have been invited to the SAIE to explain all about the SEU model. I am pleased that my good friend, Dr. John Byrne, of the Foundation for Renewable Energy and Environment will join me. He shares the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize with fellow IPCC researchers and is the analytical source and co-creator of the SEU model. Dr. Byrne and I are looking forward to being at the SAIE exhibit at the Bologna Fair 16 to 19 October 2013 to help all who are interested in understanding how the SEU model can work for Italy. Until then, arrivederci.